Hello everybody, what's up, what's going on, and welcome to the 59th episode of Raptors 1. So guys, I want to talk about this new prospect. Uh, he's been taking the NBA scene by a storm. Uh, he's not hit the draft yet, but he will be hitting the draft probably next year. So without any further ado, let's get it. Victor Wembenyama. I hope I pronounced his name right. Well, you could see him here anyway. Uh, Victor Wembenyama, he's the next... Um, prospect, probably according to social media and sports analysts, since LeBron, probably the next best thing. Now, I know we've heard that a lot. We've heard that about Zion Williamson. We've heard about that, about Anthony Davis like that. Uh, we've heard about a lot of players that have come after LeBron that, oh yeah, you know, after LeBron, this guy's the next best thing, da da da. But I am convinced about Victor Weminyama. Now, the reason why is because this guy is, I believe he's seven foot five. So he is a freak of nature. He's already very tall. So clearly he doesn't need to jump much to, ju uh, to dunk or to block shots. But I've seen some of his videos. I've seen his game. Um, and I gotta say, the first video that I watched of his was, uh, in the off season. And I watched this video of him back in 2020. He was playing a pickup game against Rudy Gobert. Now, Victor Weminyama, he's a French national, so uh, he got to play with Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert is a French national as well. So they were doing a little uh, pickup game. And I got to say, man, Rudy could not guard him. So we know that Rudy Gobert has a few um, nicknames. Because of his defense, he's known as the Stifle Tower. You know, a little play on words because he's a French national. Eiffel Tower happens to be in France. And stifle, as in his defense is so stifling, you cannot get a shot over this man. Well, <laughs> Victor Weminyama made it look simple. And back then he was 16. He is now 18. Back then he was 16 and he was already owning Rudy Gobert while Rudy Gobert was going to, or if not, already in his prime. He was shooting... Um, fadeaways like on top of Rudy Gobert like it was nothing. He was hitting three pointers like he was Steph, you know. Mind you, yes, the release is different and all that. And Steph is still the three point specialist of all time. Of all time, I said it. But Victor Weminyama, man, he is looking like a walking cheat code out there. When I saw this video in the off season, I was like, man, this kid's gonna be something special. And when he hits the uh, draft. Man, people are going to be trying to get this kid for sure. I had called it back then. Now, recently, he's been hitting the G League games. And I got to say, he's been owning them. He does not belong in the G League. That's 100% guaranteed. He is not a G League prospect. He belongs in the big leagues. He is an NBA player already. He has... From the two games that I've seen, he's already dropped 35 and 36 points. And in one of those games, he had a double-double in rebounds. And he's been averaging about four to five blocks a game. He's owning the G League circuit. So, does that mean that he's going to necessarily have a huge impact in the NBA scene? Yeah, it's possible. I can see that he does have some room for improvement. He's got to get the game IQ because, again... He's used to playing the European basketball. And again, don't get me wrong, European basketball has its own advantages over NBA. But he's got to get used to the NBA culture, the NBA way of playing the game. So that's he's going to have to develop that. And that's going to determine if he is a quick learner or not, whether he's going to be that elite player. But he already has the skill set. He already has a good shot. He's got an array of of uh, offensive skill sets that make him very hard to guard. And he's got pretty decent, sound defensive fundamentals. However, obviously he's got to work on his IQ, and that's going to come with experience playing in the NBA. I give him a couple of seasons. Uh, depending on how much of a role he gets and which team he gets on. And of course, he's a skinny, lanky dude. He needs to put on some weight. He needs to put on some power. If, because guess what? He's definitely playing center. And if you have players like Joel Embiid that, that are going up against you, they're going to punish you in the middle. 
They're going to body you up. You got to put on some weight. You got to put on some strength. Otherwise, you're going to be injured. So what do I think about Victor Wembanyama? I think he's an interesting prospect. And I really, really think that he would be a good fit for the Raptors. That's right. <laughs> if you non-Raptors fans are watching this, guess what? This is Raptors in one channel. So obviously, I'm going to make a case for why he would be a good fit for the Raptors. Number one, right away he addresses one of our needs, the middle. He's a big man, seven foot five, probably has easily over a seven foot wingspan, which is kind of what we're looking for anyway. He has decent defensive uh, principles. He can block the shot and, you know, he can even guard uh, decently over the perimeter. But that's again, that's something that we can work with him. And of course, the offensive skill set that he has. He is definitely going to be fitting in our system because now we have some lanky guys and we have some good uh, people with good IQ, high IQ. And with him, not just clogging the paint, but moving the defense out, that gives players like Pascal, OG, uh, Precious, Chris, all of them to attack the middle. Of course, Scotty Barnes as well. And with Scotty Barnes' uh, play set, man, he would be a wrinkle on the opponent's foreheads every night. Our team would be, an, would be a tough out with him on our team. Now, yes, we, have, we already have Christian Coloco, but I feel like v Victor, he's probably already ready to take on the NBA floor. Don't get me wrong, Christian's good, but... Uh, I gotta say, I'm convinced with Victor. I think he's gonna be the next phase in centers, the elite centers. Maybe even, you know, I don't want to jump the gun here, but let's see what the future holds. I, I, I didn't want to finish that sentence off, you know, cause then I know people are gonna hold it to me. They're gonna be like, ah, you know, he's a bust. He gets injured so quick cause, you know, he's not so strong. He doesn't have that power or that weight on him. Give him some time, but I feel like he has his lip, his potential is limitless, just like Scotty Barnes. So those are my thoughts on Victor Wembanyama. Hit that comment section. Let me know what you guys think of Victor Wembanyama. If he's definitely the next best thing after LeBron. And of course, if you like the content, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget the subscribe button. You can check out all my other content for your viewing pleasure, of course. So until next time, I'm out.